everyone, my name is Max, and today I'm going to be talking to you about Silverfish and their new behavior with Poison Potion in the uh, new snapshot. So, first of all, I've set up this little chamber here with clean stone on the bottom, and I'm going to spawn in some Silverfish, so please be patient here. So, we have some uh, Silverfish in there. As you can see I'm in uh, creative mode so it doesn't really matter how far I am away from the silverfish they will still go into the box normally they uh, have to wait for you to go away but since I'm in creative that does not apply and now I'm gonna use a normal actually an extended poison potion and let's see what happens Uh, there you have it. Pretty much all of the blocks where they were just popped up. So, now uh, I'm at my pyramid and we're gonna try a larger scale test here. So I'm gonna fill this thing up with uh, clean stone and I'll be right back. Alright, so I finished filling the whole thing in with uh, clean stone. Uh, took quite a while, but uh, whatever. And I built a small little glass tube over here so I can actually easily insert them in without them popping out. All right. And uh, let's test this. They're eating out the clean stone quite fast. But it seems they've uh, stopped. So you can actually clearly see that this is all damage done by them here. Um, we'll try one more time here. Now they're just cleaning out the other parts. Um, if I had more of them, they'd probably go a bit faster and maybe even get all of those little parts up there so they can be used as a digging tool but uh, it seems that they're not too uh, symmetric with their digging so blocks will be left out as seen here alright now I've built a 12 by 12 column with a 10 by 10 clean stone column inside and I have a rapid fire silverfish spawner right here Oh. And uh, now I'll actually activate it. We'll ga get quite a bit of silverfish this time and we'll try it. And hopefully you guys can see the outcome. So, let's start this thing up. This seems uh, quite sufficient. And now we can start dropping the poison. Let's go. Oh, they're going, they're going. The problem is here is that I have to manually poison them. If I put a machine for it, uh, there's no uh, guarantee that it'll actually hit them and even like even those the small amount of poison they're already dug down till here and they're still digging so as you can see they leave a lot of blocks but uh, let's throw some in there let's see how far they're at right now and you can see this is quite fast so if you were to set up a system like this to dig it actually could be efficient if you have a decent uh, silverfish farm alright so now I've made a one wide column here it goes all the way back to ground level here and uh, we're gonna do the test one last time I'm gonna spawn in a lot of silverfish 
because last time I did it, they all died from uh, fall damage. So we'll see how this works out. I'm gonna leave this on for a while so we get a lot of silverfish and see how fast they can destroy this column. Alright, so I stopped my machine and I think we have enough silverfish for this test at least. So, let's get it done. That was crazy. Seems that uh, the majority of them actually died. Alright, so what we can conclude from this test is that uh, silverfish are good mining tools, however they are not too reliable, and uh, if you have too many they'll just kill themselves with uh, fall damage. So as you see, it's going down, and it will get down someday, but it does take a while, because most of them die due to the speed of their mining. We can also safely say that they mine faster than they fall. Thanks for watching guys. Take care.